What's up, everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here, and we are back for Million Dollar Mission, episode 26. And today, um, well, in the last episode, we built the space coaster right there, the mini roller coaster. And we connected it to that area with the Orange Beast and the Ozymandias. Check out our profits lately, guys. $31,000 the past two months in ride ticket revenue. It's pretty awesome. Um, we got to make sure those guests keep coming. They're on the rise right now. We're almost at 3,500 guests. I really, I mentioned this a little while ago, a few episodes ago, that I would like to get at least 4,000 guests in the park. Um, we're at $540,000 right now. Again, our, obviously our mission is to get to a million. And we are well on our way, guys. Um, I think we're going to get there in probably around 10 more episodes and we'll we'll be there i don't know we'll find out today um just uh i'd like to build another roller coaster probably right that's what we do every episode pretty much and um i want to start getting this area over here filled in probably not today but maybe in the next episode um and we got to start building over by that mountain. I'd like to build a mountainside roller coasters and have you guys see what that looks like. And the uh, the tediousness of what goes into something like that. Um, so over here, let's see, we've got our reverse free fall roller coasters. Let's check out what we can build here. I want to build another one that um, we haven't put in the park yet. I was thinking a hyper coaster, but these things end up being huge. I really, I'd like to try an LIM launch roller coaster, and these things are kind of fun to build. So, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll build a custom design here, and I'm gonna put it on the opposite side of the reverse free fall coasters here. And we'll build it parallel to these. So kind of another launch roller coaster. And we're off here. So there are a lot of inversion options on these roller coasters. I think in this one, I end up not building very many inversions. Um, I do this very first one. I think it's really cool. The uh, where it launches into that half loop right there, that and it twists around. So um, we'll start it like that, and then we'll just kind of the rest of it will just be kind of a basic, you know, uh, lots of twisting and going through hills and all that type of roller coaster. The uh, they kind of remind me of the steel roller coaster, except for you know it's it's launched off. From the from the station platform at really high speeds, so yeah, let's just uh, kind of build the rest of this thing. It'll be more of a basic feel. I'm pretty sure on these LIM launched coasters, there's um, the option to have it just launch from the platform and then end up, you know, it goes up through the track and then comes backwards through the rest, or you can have it be a complete roller coaster. So in this case, I'm doing a complete roller coaster, but, um, but yeah, you can have the option to have them be more like the reverse free fall coaster where it launches and then just comes back to the same platform but instead of you know just straight up and down you can have loops and all that going through that which those are kind of I, I feel like that's even more difficult to build than um, a roller coaster like this one as far as just getting that you know that perfect balance of the speed to get through everything and make it all the way back it's just kind of tricky 
All right, so let's put in the entrance and exit, and then we'll figure out what speeds we need to be doing this thing at in order for this to work. So you gotta kind of experiment with this. Um, go into your settings, and we're gonna try 49 miles per hour. As you can see, that's a little bit too slow. And that's dangerous, because you don't want this thing to fly back and crash into the other car so let's uh, increase that to 60 and try that that made it pretty well um, not too fast we'll see how that works and just make sure this thing makes it through the rest of the ride okay No problems there. All right, so it made it fine. I'm gonna take care of some of these marketing campaigns. Again, we gotta make sure that this, we stay on top of that so that we're not losing all our guests. And the negative vertical Gs are a little bit in the red. Not even as much as the orange beast, so I'm not too concerned. Intensity rating's a little bit high compared to the excitement rating. So what I'm gonna do is let's test this thing out with a slightly lower launch speed. And I'm gonna go with 56 miles per hour and let's see if that helps. See this thing barely makes it over the top but it did make it so that should not be a problem. Yeah, it makes it just fine. It's a little slow, but that's a good thing. I mean, it means that those um, vertical Gs should be more under control. And you can see right there, it's out of the red, negative 1.9. That's a lot better. The excitement rating came down by almost a full point, so it's now in the 8s instead of the 9s. So I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing ready to open. Not the prettiest uh, choice for the stage or the uh, the platform entrances here, but you know I wanted it to go on this side of the roller coasters, and um, that's how I decided to do it. All right, let's recolor this thing so it's not so ugly. Some nice deep reds in there. And I'm going to change that station platform to this redder color. I think that looks better. There we go. And it's pretty much done. Um, guess you're getting lost or stuck. I got that notification, so I just kind of try to see what's going on there. But there's only like three guests. So I, I really, you know, out of 4,000... 3,600 guests. I'm not con too concerned about three guests not being able to find the park exit. Um, wanted to see if it, you know, affected these guys' excitement ratings at all. It doesn't really look like it did. So that's good. I mean, not good. I wanted it to go up, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, all right, so that's all done, guys. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Let me think. Uh, let me know what you thought of the new LIM launched roller coaster. If you liked the episode, please hit me a like, and uh, please comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.